Hey guys, Tiffany with another video, and as you guys saw in the title, this is going to be another one of my hauled it, but how was it videos. I actually have not done one of these videos in a really long time, and I have no clue why. I mean, because if y'all watch my channel, and if you watch my videos, you know I've been hauling. There's a net. There's a net. Um, it, I don't know what it is about here in Savannah. I don't know if it's all of Georgia, but since I've been here in Savannah, every time it's summertime the nets and the flies are ridiculous so there's a net i've killed all his little brothers and sisters so i think that's why he's flying at me with the vengeance so y'all probably gonna see this little net flying around it's nothing i can do about it i've tried to kill him he won't die but um i've been hauling i just don't know why i haven't filmed one of these in a really long time but just in case you guys are new here to my channel and you have no clue what these are this is something i started so long ago on my channel i felt like at the time so many people were doing hauls but nobody was really giving us like product updates so it's something i started um and it's i have like a whole playlist i think dedicated to hauled it but how was it so in case you guys want to go back check out some of those videos i'll leave a link right here you can go back and check it out i'm sitting at my vanity i could get used to this i could get used to sitting at my vanity instead of sitting back at my wall the only thing is i'm filming at night um it's in the evening it's not as late as it was that last video where i almost fell asleep but it is pretty late so i don't know how the light is gonna go but child we're gonna push through all right, so I kind of have everything laid out in front of my vanity, so I'm just going to grab and go. A lot of these things are more recent products, like things that I picked up during the Sephora VIB sale, and then also things that I picked up during the Ulta 20% off sale. So the first thing I picked up, um, bruh, you're going to die. You are going to die, bruh. Just go ahead and fly around all free. You, you are going down. So the first thing that I want to talk about is this pretty vulgar powder. This is the Matte About It Translucent Setting Powder. It comes with 25 grams or 0.88 ounces of product. That is what the packaging looks like. Although with the light, you guys are probably not going to be able to see it. I do have the box right here in front of me as well. Really cute. I really like the packaging on this. Um, the powder is called The Powder Room. How cute is that? I picked this up because of my girl Andrea Renee. She was always raving about this and every time I would go on Sephora to check it out it was always sold out. It just so happened to be in stock during the VIB sale so I went ahead and picked it up. I've been using it pretty much ever since I picked it up during the sale and I've been absolutely loving it. It is what I'm wearing underneath my eyes. I wore it um, and I actually showed you guys applying it when I did the Yuma or Yuma, U Uoma, U Oma. I don't really know how to pronounce it, but that new brand that hit Ulta, the new um, black owned brand. When I did that video trying on the foundation and the concealer, I actually used this powder. I have been absolutely loving this. It comes with this really pretty like powder puff on the inside that I, I, I don't use, but I like the fact that I can kind of put it on top of the powder so the powder doesn't spill everywhere. I love the fact that it's not like your typical translucent powder, which usually those come off a little bit white. And that's what I was really scared about. It has this like neutral color. It's not white at all, it's neutral. It's absolutely gorgeous underneath the eye. It sets my under eye beautifully and it doesn't dry out or give me that like really dry Sahara Desert underneath the eye type of look. So glad I picked it up. So glad Andrea Renee raved about it on her channel. Y'all know she's my pusher. She's definitely my pusher love this powder since we're speaking of powders let me go on another powder that i picked up during the sephora vib sale the charlotte tilbury airbrush flawless finish powder i got mine in the shade three dark and here is how that looks on the inside it's clearly not dark i think this is the darkest shade but i mean for it to be dark it's not dark at all but this works amazing as just an overall finishing powder. I was really torn because I saw a lot of people, you know, those of us with melanin tar skin, using the number two shade. But I knew I wanted it to be something that was going to set my face. A lot of people that use the number two, they use it for underneath the eye. And if I was going to get this old expensive behind powder, it wasn't going to be something I was just going to use underneath my eye. Like I knew I wanted it to be an all over face finisher. So that's why I went with the shade 3 Dark. And again, this thing pricey. 
because it's Charlotte Tilbury. We all know she's she's pricey, okay? She's up there. But the way this powder just gives my face such an airbrushed look, it just looks filtered, it looks blurred, it sets everything beautifully without being cakey, which can sometimes be a problem with powders. I love this. I think this is some, is this permanent? I'm pretty sure this is permanent because this is not new. This powder has been around for a while. I've just always been kind of skeptical and especially about the price of it for powder, like a face setting powder. I was like, ah, I can find cheaper. So worth it. This powder is bomb. I'm so glad I picked it up. I'm so glad I picked it up during the sale. <laughs> but I love this this is something I would pick up at the full price that's how amazing it is so speaking on the Yuma Uma Uma I don't know how to say it and I've heard people say it differently so it's like who's right who's right in this whole pronunciation thing U O M A that is the name of the brand you guys have probably heard about it so many people have been doing videos um it's now in Ulta as before when it first released I think it was only online, but then it's it's in Ulta, um, so it's something that you can actually go in and play around with. When I picked it up, I did my shade match online. That shade was all wrong. They released it in my Ulta. I went, I played around with the shades. I found the one that I thought would match me well. It wasn't right. Um, a lot of the warmer undertones for that foundation, I felt like they just came off orange. Um, the one that I tried, it was orange on me. No matter how much I tried to play around with it and manipulate it, it was just orange. It just, I, I love the finish of it, don't get me wrong. I felt like the finish gave a really skin-like type of finish, but it was just, it was all wrong. So I did take that back to Ulta. Um, I played around with some more of the shades in store and I just couldn't find anything that I felt matched me. So that the, the whole foundation was just a return for me, but I kept the concealer. The concealer is called the Stay Woke Concealer, and I have mine in the shade, it's hard to read it on the packaging, but I have the Bronze Venus T2 um, shade. It is what I'm wearing underneath my eyes today. I feel like it's a really great highlighting concealer. I love the how the consistency is thick. But even though it's thick, it blends out beautifully. But this is a thicker concealer. So sometimes I really don't like the whole thick concealer. But again, this is not one of those concealers that stays thick. It actually blends out beautifully. So I really love it. So the concealer for me was a definite yes. The foundation, again, the finish was nice. The undertones was just real off. It was just real orange. It was just a real big no. So next up, let's talk about something again from Sephora during the Sephora VIB sale. This is the Marc Jacobs Lash Primer. What is the official name of it? The Velvet Primer. The Prime Velvet Primer. Here is what the packaging looks like. It's really bulky in a sense. I guess for lash primers it's bulky the packaging is nice really great vanity appeal but in the end it's it's kind of bulky i picked this up on the recommendation of my girl charisma from charisma's world if you guys don't know who she is or you're not familiar with her channel i will leave her information down below in the description box make sure you head over and support her because i really love her so this is what it looks like on the inside and it's not like the typical white lash primer i don't know if you guys are going to be able to see that but it's almost like a i don't know almost like a peachy color and that kind of threw me off when i first opened it because i'm so used to lash primers being either like white or clear now i am a part of the itty bitty lash committee it is no secret you guys know i'm always saying like i have no lashes at all so i wasn't sure how this was going to work for me I actually I like this but I also don't like one thing about it as far as how it works when I use a mascara on top of it I definitely feel like it lengthens out my lashes and it makes my lashes look a lot fuller the one thing that I don't like though if you don't coat like every part of your lash with mascara wherever you use this if you miss a spot by mistake <laughs> it leaves like the color of the primer so there have been times where i've been at work and somebody's been like what's what's that like, like you got something on your lash and i go in the bathroom and look and i'm trying to sit there and get it off it's actually the primer and then like once it's there it's it's there and i don't care around mascara at work i don't know maybe i should but 
I don't so it just kind of looks like you have something on your lashes so it does a really great job but I'm telling you like if you miss a spot girl they're gonna be all day oh you got something on your lashes oh you got something on your lashes like I know but <laughs> other than that it actually does the job so I really love it for that it is a little pricey I didn't want to love it but it's really good and it's better than my Lancome seals booster which usually is my love um, again kind of pricey but I think this one does a way better job but you just got to make sure you coat every part with mascara or again it looks like you got something on your eyelashes let's talk eyeshadow palettes I have two that I want to talk about both of them are pretty affordable and both are actually by makeup revolution I promise I didn't plan that so the first one is the makeup revolution um, times a Tammy palette this is the tropical Car childish net done found a cousin oh you found a cousin to come over here and annoy me with okay both y'all about to die this is the Tropical Carnival palette. And y'all probably are tired of seeing this palette if you follow me on like Snapchat and Instagram. I think my last couple of looks have all been with this palette. But for good reason. One, I've been trying to step outside the box because you guys are always like, Tiff, all you do is neutral. All you do is neutral colors. I've really been trying to bring you guys some actual color. And I've really been loving this palette. Let me show you guys what it looks like on the inside without blinding you from the mirror. So those are the colors on the inside. There are how many shades? 3, 6, 9, 12. 18 shades. There are 18 eyeshadows and there is a really good mixture of mattes and shimmers in this palette. It's the palette that I am wearing on my eyes today. It's a palette I used when I did the green. It was a palette I used when I did the the purple I look like I've really really been loving this this is a great palette this palette is a little dusty there is fallout it's definitely that there are some shades um some of the shimmer shades where you kind of have to really like build up the color but it's not the whole entire palette I think this palette was $15 or $12 I don't remember I actually ordered mine from the Makeup Revolution website and it arrived really quickly. Let me throw that in there because I was scared that it was coming from like the UK and it was like going to take a month or so to get um, to me. But it actually arrived within like a week. So I was really happy about that. I'm really, really loving these colors. I think these are really fun colors, especially for the summer, especially for those who like to use like color all the time. Not me. I don't like color all the time, but I've really been enjoying playing around with it. And once you figure out how to kind of work with the shades, um, I think if you pack them on and don't just like apply and blend, you get a better application. But I've really been loving this palette, y'all. Like A++. It has been one of my favorites for sure. Like I said, another Makeup Revolution palette. Um, this one is the Makeup Revolution Time Soap palette, the Extra Spice palette. And here is how that palette looks on the inside. Of course, these colors speak to my soul. Y'all know I love colors like this. Definitely not, not the most inventive palette that I have in my collection, but I've really been loving these colors and this palette as well. I think this has some really great like fun pops of color but also those kind of neutral colors that you can use with like anything the shimmers in here are absolutely gorgeous this is a great palette to also mix with other palettes i've mixed this palette with the makeup um revolution times tammy palette i've really been loving both of these and then the final product i want to talk about is the milk makeup hydro grip primer here is how it looks I picked up the full size during the Sephora VIB sale I'd heard so many people talk about it and I was like if I'm gonna get it and then I love it I might as well just go ahead and pick up the full size as opposed to picking up the small size and then I love it and have to go back and pick up another full size and I don't get it at the 20% off so I went with the big size so far I've really been loving this primer I think it does such a great job at kind of just like keeping your makeup in place it goes on and it feels kind of weird at first but then it just blends out so smooth and then it dries down almost to like a matte consistency which I wasn't expecting because when you kind of move the bottle like the primer moves along with it I thought it was going to be like a lot more hydrating um, and not as matte but it goes on matte but it's so smooth keeps my makeup in place like effortlessly and I just absolutely love this primer 
all the rave for this one has definitely been worth it because sometimes I feel like Milk Makeup is a little gimmicky with their products, but this one is a really good one. All right, guys, so that is it for this haul. It's but how was it? Let me know what you guys think of the products. If you have any of these, you've been using it, you like it, you dislike it, all that good stuff. You know, I want to know down below in the comment section. So let's go ahead and get the conversation started. Let me know if you guys want to see me kind of like recreate this look. I was on the verge of filming it, but time got the best of me and I was like it's already late and I have to be up at four o'clock in the morning for work so I decided not to but then I actually loved how the look came out so I was like girl you should have filmed this so if you guys want to see this I think it's just a really pretty like summery look let me know because I definitely will recreate this on my next off day let me know anything else y'all want to tell me down below in the comment section because you know I love and appreciate your feedback and until next time by YouTube. Gemini season. <laughs> Gemini season is upon us. A birthday coming up. Oh, I'm excited. Clearly, I'm excited. See you guys later.